Today's video, we are going to talk about Google Map ads, how to specifically run ads on Google Maps. If you've seen on Google Maps, of course, there's the three pack, one, two, three. Then you have your map on this side. There. Map, listing one, listing two, listing three, three pack. Your ad can show up right here in the first slot. You'll notice sometimes, not always, it's not guaranteed to always be an ad there, but practically speaking, once you've ran your ads for a while, it will be there every time. It'll say sponsored. On the top left hand portion of that top spot, that exactly is going to be where your ad is. Similarly to that, on Google, if you go to Google Maps itself, uh, you know, if you were, to, in other words, click on one of these listings or one of these listings here, takes you to the full screen view of Google Maps. Then, of course, you have like your 10 listings here on the left hand side and your map over here. You can show up here. Also, you have a, a promoted pin that's a different color, purple. You also show up in those spots as well. So this is how you do that specifically, or I'm going to share exactly how to do that on this video here today. So by the end of the video, I guarantee you'll know everything you need to know about it. And then more importantly, how to make it run profitably as well, given that's not guaranteed if you don't know what you're doing here either. Okay, probably, but not guaranteed. It will be guaranteed if you follow the small system that I have for you here that anybody can follow that I'm going to give you here. So with all that said, this is a pretty simple system. I, before I tell you the exact system, five-step process to go through to guarantee your placement on Google Maps for your business, I just want to start out by saying these are the most profitable ads that you could run on Google Ads or through your Google Ads account, bar none more profitable than the search ads um, itself, and then also more part, uh, profitable than the local service ads, which are buying leads from Google, you know, like the Google Guarantee ads, basically. It's even more profitable than that, lead, per, lead by lead or lead per lead. Why is it more profitable? Because somebody who goes to the maps, they mean business, okay? <laughs> They're not screwing around. They only gravitate to that map because they're looking to do business with somebody now and somebody local, if you will. And even if you're not a local business per se, and you're on that map, it's, the leads are just as good. People don't ever come into your office anymore. So if you were trying to, uh, any kind of strategy to be able to make money, the best thing I would recommend to you is get a location in each city, specifically so you can tap into the traffic clicking on this map. So lead for lead, you'll make more money per lead on the maps, uh, sponsored ad on the maps, then you will on Google ads, which is your ad on the top of Google, your text ad, or local service ads if you could, if you have signed up for the uh, Google Guarantee program and so forth. I know because we've looked at these leads, not and then you know of course the important thing here to, to distinguish here uh, for you is that the leads can cost you exactly the same from the map, from Google search ads. From these local service ads, the map ads will convert at least at twice the rate as the other two places, search ads and the uh, local service ads. Because of what I said, these people that are the most serious are going for the maps. So you want to run, you damn well want to run your, your, your map listings, your paid sponsored map listing here, and so you can show up here and also on the map. Okay? So... If you weren't already firmly convinced that this makes money, now you know. Now, to get into how this is done, it's real simple. You need a few things in place. Once it's in place, it's done effectively, and it'll only keep getting better as the algorithm gets a, you know, finds its gearing on what you've present, provided for them to run your sponsor listing on the maps. First step is you've got to, of course, have a Google Ads account, which you probably have that already. 
Once you've done that, number two, we've got to set up for a Google business profile. This used to be called uh, the Google My Business. So this is basically signing up for a listing on Google Maps per se, if you will, for the organic listing or showing of your business on Google Maps. Of course, it's also to get reviews and all that too as well. Uh, number three, which by the way, um, if you, these leads are so good, or if you're selling product locally, it drives so good a traffic to your local business, brick and mortar business, that you always also want to try to optimize for organic clicks as much as possible. Investing in getting good reviews. How do you do that? You ask every customer for a review and you make it give your salespeople commission for every review that they are able to successfully convince customers to give. And you set it up as a, and you optimize it like you're, you're, you're generating sales. That is, you have a sales process for generating sales to your customers, you have a process to generate successful reviews on Google Maps. Because the, the organic side, it's heavily, heavily based upon the number of reviews, the review score, and the keywords listed in the reviews themselves. You can see what I'm talking about just by going into other markets and making some searches. Go type in what keywords are listed in some of the reviews. You'll notice those ones, you know, the people that have that exact phrase you typed in in a review somewhere will probably be the one that shows up organically here. Or if there's a sponsor listing at the top in the number two spot. So you want to max both of them out. Anyway, going back to the topic at hand, getting off, I was getting off track here a little bit. The third thing you need for the Google Ads, Google Maps ads, is a location extension on your Google search ad. So you, on your Google search ad, you need a location extension. And you need to link your Google Ads account to your Google My Business or Google Business profile. So that when you set up the location extension, you can actually see that your business address from your Google business profile show up. You can actually do a location extension without linking your accounts together, without linking your Google business profile to your Google ads, you can't do a location extension effectively. Once you've got the location extension set up, which by the way, your search campaigns that target, if you have more than one location, you want to set up the location extension to represent the location that's closest to the campaign you have. So in other words, if you have, let's say you had two campaigns, one's, one that targets San Francisco, one that targets LA, right? And you have two physical locations, one in LA, one in San Francisco. Of course, your San Francisco campaign, when you set up the location extension for that San Francisco targeted campaign, it references the, the the Google business profile that's set up for Los Angeles. So, so the guy or gal who effectively is searching for your a business like yours on Google from LA is going to see the ad for LA with the location extension that's also in LA. If that makes sense. So, because with the location extension, a lot of people realize it. And that's why you're here watching this video. The location extension, make sure your Google Maps address is showing up underneath your ad. Because here's your ad, right? Your location extension shows your address underneath it. There's a little pin and then your address. And if you click on this, it'll take the user to Google Maps. They think that's all location extension does. What it also does is it puts you in position to get shown up in the sponsor listing, the top spot, and then also in the full view of Google Maps here, and then also promoted pin on the map like I was talking about before. So the location extension is set up, assuming you have multiple locations, it's the closest location that you have to the user. The fourth thing that you're gonna do, that actually, one, two, three, and everything I explained so far is what actually gets your listing showing. To make sure it runs profitably and, and more importantly, just gets more profitable for you over time. You're going to want to do the fourth step here, which is to create a dedicated tracking number to track the phone calls that will come in from the sponsored listing. Because you could get phone calls on Google Maps organically, 
showing up organically on the three pack and on the maps itself. You could also get calls from the paid listings on the map. All right. The paid phone calls that you get when you're when you're showing up in the three pack as a sponsor and it actually says sponsored on the listing. If they call, if you don't have a dedicated tracking number set up for your Google business profile in the section called calls from ads, that call, it was like it never happened to or for or through Google ads itself. Google ads results half or, or more of is just down to collecting data in your account with good conversion tracking so that the ad system can get you more results, better results, more leads, more sales at a better ROI on an ongoing basis because it finds out better and better and better all the time who your customers are, what your listing should show up for, who it should not. And uh, so if you set up a tracking number through, I recommend CallRail, and then you insert that tracking number in the uh, calls from ads section on your your Google business profile every call you get once with call rail you have the call rail integration set up with Google ads every call you get on the sponsored map listing will get fed into your Google ads account and then you'll be able to see which campaign it came from which keyword it came from and so forth but more importantly other than you can optimize using that data, the algorithm can use that data to optimize your ads and realize over time this sponsored listing is getting a good call rate because ultimately they want to show this sponsored listing if it gets a lot of people to call. If it doesn't get more people to call than what was normally there before you were there in, in that spot, well then of course they would want to show what was there before because Google wants to provide a good experience to their users. That's what everything boils down to both organically and on the paid side. Of course, on the paid side, you can skew it a little bit by spending a lot of money, but they'll charge you so much by not doing a very good job in getting people to click or call. In other words, you have low response rates that effectively they'll make the price for each call you get so high that you just drop out yourself. So you can either work with the system or against it. The best thing to do is just set everything up to beat your competition that's showing up on Google now, so Google wants to run it more and then also charge you a cheaper amount per click or in this case call so that the calls are super profitable and you get the most calls it's like you earn two ways once google sees that you get a lot of calls you get more calls you get shown up in this spot at the top of the three pack a higher percentage of the time and you get you're charged less per call effectively when somebody calls this number here um you're basically going to be charged for a click at the end of the day here. So, but there's definitely a section called calls from ads where you're going to put that tracking number for calls specifically from sponsored listings on this map section. I also recommend you have a, a separate tracking number for the main phone number on your Google My Business. So in call rail, since you're using that, you can see how many calls you got from your Google My Business organically then it also you have that separate number to track the sponsor listing on your Google uh, sp sponsored maps listing if you will or placement on Google Maps in, in the sponsored section so um, <clears throat> with that said technically if somebody clicks on your just to be cl to clarify on my earlier point if somebody clicks on your phone number that you have designated to track your phone calls from your sponsor listing, you will get tra charged for a click. If somebody just calls that number, let's say they're, they were on a uh, desktop device and then they punch that number into uh, Google manually or into their phone manually and then call, Google doesn't even charge you for a click in that case because they didn't necessarily knew it happened. Yes. CallRail is going to pass that data back to Google Ads, but I haven't noticed that they charge you for a click in that case. So even though you're, you've registered a conversion, they don't use that as a determination of whether or not you char be, are charged for a click per se, which is nice. Obviously, they 100% use the conversion data to steer your ads with and recognize that they should show you more here. 
but they're not going to charge you for a click per se. But at the end of the day, it works out for them because if they know users are getting a good experience and then they start showing your your sponsor listing on the map a higher percentage of the time, they're going to get more people clicking on that number on mobile devices percentage-wise or, or you know volume-wise, I should say, and they're going to make more money anyway. They just charge enough for clicks on that phone number to warrant the click, you know, the phone calls you're going to get from desktop devices to make it, you know, ultimately they're, they're making enough money anyway, even though there's some of the calls they can't necessarily track slash charge you for, if that makes sense. So they use the data to steer your ads with, but they don't use the data to necessarily charge you per click to, to, to sum it all up which is weird because you would think that if they can see that you got a call, but you know, they're not counting on that data. They can't necessarily, it makes sense why they don't use that data to charge you for a click that CallRail provides, because what if CallRail screws up? Then they're going to have customer service problems. They'll be charging people for something that, you know, they, they don't they verify themselves actually happened. So anyway, that's what it is. And then, so you, you may do, all of this and you may say Corey but my listing is not showing up in that sponsored listing spot the typical first position in the three pack it's not showing up there you lied to me <laughs> and the reality is you have got to give it some time Google is going to show you the way that they always do things is they're going to test you out real slow they want to see if your your listing can perform can it pull calls you know people clicking through the phone number to, to import it into their phone app and then call and if it can at a higher rate than the ones that are that were there before, then you get shown a higher percentage of the time, higher percentage of the time, higher percentage of the time, until you're permanently there in that spot. And that can take many months for Google's algorithm to figure it out. Google does not take big gambles. They want their search engine to be mostly good for most people. They do always want to find new players that can push the envelope on providing users a better experience, i.e. higher uh, response rates or click through on the ads. So what they'll do is any new ad, they'll test it out real, real slow. And if they get good data, it, if things are looking good, click through rate wise or conversion rate wise, they start showing you a bit more and then a bit more and then a bit more. And that's why it takes six months, even if you have the best listing with the best response rates to get shown 100% of the time and have them really take you seriously and run you aggressively and then furthermore charge you a lot less per click. You, you start, always start out with paying the most per click and get shown the least. And also if you want to add in there, get a, a, uh, the highest percentage of shitty traffic because Google, Google ultimately knows on a statistical basis who's going to be likely to be a customer out of the total searchers on Google and who is not. Because they look at the data that they have about who's converted into a customer before from Google's past conversion data and so forth. And they know that if a user made this search and this search before they made the search that you wanted to show up for, you know, they're 80 plus percent chance likely to turn into a customer. And that person, they skew to showing the people that have been advertising a long, long time, presumably for years, over you, the new guy. So you're getting a triple hit when you start out. You're getting the least quality, least likely to convert leads. The, le the less, the le uh, very little clicks, and you're paying the most per click. You're paying the most for the shittiest traffic and not very much of it. But if you just stick with it and you fundamentally set your ads up so that they're looking good and can perform well, and you just wait it out, pay your dues, eventually you're going to come out the other side with a really great result and a lot of, a lot of sales from what you did. So since it costs money just to break into it, it makes no other sense other than to invest the proper money so that your ads are going to perform better than the other ads that are there. Furthermore, the, could it convert better into sales or leads than the other ads that are there? Because that's what Google's ultimately looking for. And they want to send as much traffic as they can to the people who do those two things the best. Click through rate, conversion rate. As it pertains to this, it's simply did you get people to click through the phone number and call or just click on it to see that business on Google Maps and read more about the business itself. Either or. Uh, but primarily, did, did it get them to call because 
that indicates you have not only a high click-through rate, if you will, as it pertains to this, but also a high conversion rate. Those two things that they always want to know, they want to, they're measuring for it on an ongoing basis so that they can decide who gets shown. Because ultimately with one sponsored listing here, only one guy can be shown, or gal. That's going to be you. You know, you have to perform well. And there's not really much you can do to optimize this other than A, have a local phone number. Don't use an 800 number. B, have good reviews. C, here, um, have a interesting business name. Because that, that's one of the biggest factors that's going to get you a high response rate here. The percentage of people who click on this are going to go see the, you know, the overall um, information about your business. Make sure that's all written really well. Not just, you're not just winging it. It's written by somebody who knows how to write good uh, copy, web copy. And so they can see you have great reviews, a lot of them, which gives people confidence. The listing is well written. Also, you have other uh, products slash services listed underneath there, so you have even more information about the company. So there'd be that's going to get more people willing to call. So all that's going to tie into whether you're going to be shown there a little bit, none, or basically virtually all the time. So that said, I'll wrap it up with that. If, hopefully that makes a lot of sense. If you have any questions about anything I shared here, leave me a comment below. I get back to every single person who leaves me a comment on this channel usually within a couple days time. Uh, you can ask me any ad related question you'd like, by the way. I love being able to give back to my viewers of this channel and help you, know, you guys uh, get ahead j j and, j and love to do that just as a way to give back for helping us grow this channel. Uh, beyond that, if you like my work here, of, of what you've viewed and seen on this video here specifically, I have a ton of other, hundreds of other videos on this channel about how to make money with ads coming from somebody who's just doing ad strategy for clients on an ongoing basis, guaranteeing their results, literally speaking. And therefore the information is the best information I promise you, you could find on YouTube on how to actually make money with ads, not just speculation from people that have YouTube channels and are YouTubers or selling courses or any of that stuff. This is all I do all day long. And I've been doing ad strategy and running ads for businesses I've ran and so forth for 15 years. All the stuff that works, as well as the stuff that doesn't work, I give to you on this channel and tell you what to do and what not to do. It's the best information, therefore, you can find on YouTube. Therefore, you should subscribe. Um, beyond that, I also have a blog at guaranteeppc.com slash blog, as well as a col uh, written column that I write over at entrepreneur.com. If you like my work here on my channel, you'll love my written work as well that I have in those two other places. Beyond that, uh, like I mentioned, we offer a guaranteed PPC slash advertising service here in that um, if you reach out to us and we look over your stuff and you want to see if we can work together, we'll estimate how much sales results we can get for your campaign. And then with that, we will not ask for any fee at all up front unless we can raise your sales a certain minimum amount, usually uh, which is going to be like a 50 or 100% increase in your sales from your ads up front without spending any more on ads, which would be our typical guarantee. If you want to see if we can do that for you, only one way to find out, which is to reach out to me and, and take on the free analysis that I would provide. GuaranteePPC.com is where you can reach out to me and get that analysis from myself. Uh, beyond that, if you're not looking to work with an ad agency, some people aren't, I understand, you've got to handle it, but if we've worked in your market before, it would be to your advantage greatly to use the ads and landing page templates and everything that we've developed for your market to get results in your same niche or market. That is, if you're a plumber, we've worked in the plumbing space for years. Instead of spending all the money to figure out what we found out in your vertical, you could simply use the campaigns, the ads, the landing pages that we've used in, to develop great results in that space and copy and paste them into your account and get the same results we have. We can tell you the results we've got in that space and then of which we will be able to tell you, of course, what we would charge for those templates, but it's going to be nowhere near what it's going to cost to figure out the same stuff we figured out in your market for a client that we worked with in the past. Basically, as long as you're not in the same geographic territory as a client or past client, it's all fair game to use the templates in your own geographic market because you're not competing with our client. So why not use them? 
Uh, it will take you years to figure out what we figured out, and you can get it for a small one-time fee. Anyway, if you're interested in that, you can also reach out to me at my firm at Guarantee PPC. We got people using these templates to start side businesses even, or second companies, starting up an e-commerce company when they were in services initially, or vice versa, and selling the leads. So anyway, it's a great opportunity. If you're looking to start something else up as well, you can reach out to me at guaranteeppc.com. Just find out what we have what, and what businesses we've worked in and what markets we've worked in before with what results. I'll wrap it up with that, though. Hopefully you enjoyed this video, and I hope to see you in my next video where we have another great strategy for you then. See you later.